What do grown men like most? Well, of course, to get new toys to play with. Hi, friends. I'm, of course, still TTB. Welcome back to MechWarrior Online News. PGI just released the Rivals Mech Pack. This is an old school bundle of two Hero Mechs combined with some goodies together. And it is available for purchase right now. No pre order, no nothing. You can buy this and you will have your mechs and your bonuses in game. Let's talk about them so we can make a decision on whether to buy or not to buy this mech pack. The Rivals mech pack will have two new Hero Mechs the Bolt and the Ambush. Um, bold names. <laughs> bold, bold names. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna see myself out now. Goodbye. This is a very interesting move on the side of PGI. Very unexpected because we all thought we would just be getting a uh, new mech pack next month. And of course, we already pre ordered that. And then afterwards, we would get the same thing again. But no, all of a sudden, there are two hero mechs dropping out of the blue, out of a dropship. Just boom, drop down onto our waiting hands if we choose to shell over 20 US dollars. Let's go ahead and scroll down to see what is in the hero spec. We've got two new hero mechs, not normal mechs, hero mechs, both with a unique paint job, the roughneck bolt and the sand spider ambush hero mech. Let's go ahead and give it a click. This is how the boat looks like in a fight. You see auto cannons high mounted up top. You see arm mounted missile launchers, also high mounts, and uh, two lasers at the arms. And the ambush is sporting four medium lasers right here, plus uh, double UAC 10s, I believe, also nice and highly mounted okay so far so good uh these mechs come with a custom pattern and a 30 percent c build boost as always with hero mechs and they also include their own mech base in addition to those two mechs we are getting 30 days premium time we are getting 6.5 million c bills we are getting 200 gsp and 3000 mc all right let's have a look at the hard points and the mech specs so the roughneck bolt let's start with that thing 65 ton in a sphere heavy, heavy mech comes with a 260 light engine going 64 kph max engine rating is going to be at 315 so this thing will be able to go reasonably fast i think uh it comes with endo steel it comes with double heat sinks no jump capability no ecm no mask same thing for the sun spider so there are no shenanigans going on here no jumpiness no ecm no mask it is going to be uh, very very classic and very straightforward we are getting for the bolt a small laser in the head, ER yeah, medium laser and MRM-10 in the left arm. The left torso will have an Ultra AC-5, Ultra AC-5 ammo and MRM ammo. The right torso will have an Ultra AC-5, Ultra AC-5 ammo, MRM ammo and a double heatsink. And the right arm will carry an ER medium laser plus an MRM-10. So a super symmetrical mech. The hard points are one energy, one energy, one missile in the left arm, the one energy slot I just mentioned in the head. Then two ballistic slots in each side torso, one AMS in the left torso. And uh, the right arm has the same as the left arm, plus it says upper, lower, and hand actuator, so you can move your uh, arms freely. All right. So, uh, interesting to me with the bolt, definitely the high mounts, symmetrical high mounts for DACA, plus also those high mounts for missiles. Um, not as good as some other roughneck variants, probably for missiles, if they are ho housed in the side torsos. But as additional weapons, I enjoy that they will be in the arms, which are going to be targeted less. And they're going to be reasonably high up at cockpit height. So it's going to be pretty easy to shoot targets. So this should be an interesting mech to play. I can already think about a couple of interesting DACA builds I would like to try out with this thing. Um, including like something like Rackfires would definitely work. Now, for the Sun Spider Ambush. It is a 70-ton clan mech coming with an XL350 engine. The Sun Spider is a clan Omni mech, so no switching engines right here. Top speed, 81 kph. We've got, uh, of course, the classic endo steel. That's uh, what all the clan mechs have. 15 double heat sinks are going to be shipping with this mech. So 10 internal plus uh, 5 extra. Now, for the weapons and equipment, we have a Ultra AC-10 in the left arm and in the right arm. We've got two clan ear medium lasers in the left side torso and the right side torso. And some Ultra AC-10 ammo plus another double heat sink in the right torso and uh, nothing else as far as the hard points are concerned we get one ballistic in each arm and two energy hard points in each torso this opens up a couple of new possibilities for this mech for ballistic boats as well as energy boats because we've never had the ability to run four energy weapons for example the sun spider in the torsos and the good news is that with the sun spider i believe delta you have that side torso that can run ecm so you can always add ecm to this mech and make it a little bit more sneaky and actually do what the name says and ambush people right all right so 
both are very interesting mechs. I definitely want to play them. Um, I'm not blown out of the water right here, but I'm also cautiously optimistic. I'm also really happy to see that these two mechs were brought in. I would have loved to see a new mech chassis, a new mech model that we haven't seen in the game yet, but I think they just don't have the, uh, the development capabilities right now to do that and the, the resources. So uh, just getting a couple of new mechs that use models that are tried and tested uh, with some new, nice, interesting hard points. And then you know, a couple of nice paint jobs. Sure, why the hell not? It just it just adds a little bit of extra value and replayability to the game. Now, is it worth it? Is it worth 20 bucks? That is the question. Well, for 20 bucks, we get two hero mechs, two mech bays. At that point, mm, it, would, it would be an okay deal. 30% premium time on top. Uh, 30 days premium time on top. Yes. Some C-Bills on top. Okay, those are negligible, but okay, it's also nice. 200 GSP, so you can instantly skill these to a full mech build. Okay, nice. And 3,000 MC. 3,000 MC in the shop are currently valued at almost 15 bucks. So, what you're getting here is, I would say, a package worth um, around 35, 40, maybe even 45 bucks for the price of 20. So, I think that's a good and fair deal. Um, I will definitely be getting my hands on this, whether I'm going to get it from PGI or if I don't get it from PGI directly, I will just go ahead and buy it just to be able to show you guys what is going on with these variants and uh, how they will hold up in the field. So let me know if you guys decide to purchase uh, down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful in choosing whether to get it or not, then uh, also let me know and also share it with your friends. Let them also know that they can uh, get their hands on some new toys here and make sure they're informed on whether that's a good deal or not. And of course, if you want to support me in doing this full time, you've already hit the thumbs up button and you already know that the video description holds all the various options on how you can help me out. Other than that, guys, have a great day. Enjoy life. Enjoy the game. I'll see you soon.